In this video, I'm going to be sharing five tips to ensure that you always buy the most comfortable office chair for you. Stick around until the end where I share a sixth bonus tip that many of us think matter, but likely doesn't. The first tip that we're going to cover is the overall fit of the chair. Now, this can either fit you out of the box or it will have adjustments that will allow some fine tuning to fit your body. The first one that we're going to talk about is the most common and it is chair height. As you can see here on the EMEA, it has the seat height adjustment and it allows me to move the chair up and down, which then will allow me to get my feet planted flat on the floor. Arm adjustments are also something that you'll want to take close note of and the fact is is that many of the arms that you find on cheaper office chairs have little to no adjustments. Maybe they have height adjustment or maybe they're just loop armed. Now in the EMEA chair and in the steel case leap next to me, these are both the four way adjustable arm set which are widely adjustable and should fit a wide range of people. You can see I've got height adjustment, I've got width adjustment on the pads, they have depth adjustment on the pads, and they also have a pivoting function. And you can see they kind of all work together to really allow for me to kind of fine tune for my specific body. Looking at the seat and understanding if this is a proper fit for you is gonna be really important. One of the most common questions that we have is on individuals who may be 250, 280 pounds, around six feet tall, and they don't find themselves fitting comfortably in a chair like, say, the Leap. And what they end up saying is, specifically here, between the chair, the frame, you can actually see that's something that would be restricting. You'll find that on like the Aeron. Really any chair with any type of frame structure here is going to be a bit limiting. So you want to make note of that specific measurement, both width and depth by just measuring yourself, measuring your chair, and ensuring that you're getting something that will fit you right. The last thing we want to talk about with fit is just the back width and the back height. Now, this is really going to be important that you figure this out before you buy your chair. So measure something that you're currently using to understand if the chair that you're looking at will be restricting. If the chair is too narrow, you cannot change that. However, some chairs will have back height adjustment, the Leap doesn't, and the EMEA doesn't, but this is something that is a feature on some ergonomic chairs, which will give you flexibility if you're a taller individual. The second tip that we want to cover is on seat comfort. Now, I think seat comfort is without question the most subjective of all comfort things that we look at in office chairs. What you'll find with many of the high-end brands like the Steelcase Leap here, the Hayworth Fern, they tend to have thin pads and they also feel a bit firm. This is 100% by design as most ergonomists will recommend this for proper posture and good support for long hours of sitting. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like a thin seat pad, this could be an issue. Alternatively, we can look at chairs like the Nightingale CXO, which has a thick padded memory foam seat. But on the flip side, we found that these might not be as good as they're first perceived as they don't necessarily offer the best support long term. Back comfort is another thing that we want to take a closer look at. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean lumbar support, which is something that we're going to touch on here in just a little bit. But when we talk about comfort, we really want to look for number one, that the backrest is going to fit you, which we did discuss early on in the fit portion. But how comfortable is it and how comfortable is it across the entire spectrum of the back? We found that some chairs might be a bit too narrow and have obtrusive pieces of plastic or frame, or even like the sail chair where I find with this very unique backrest, it's not quite tall enough. And for those that it is, it's very comfortable, but I've developed actually pressure points in my back, which make that a really hard chair for me to sit in. The last thing to look at with back comfort is, does it have lumbar support that's maybe a bit too intrusive? There's someone in the office, Ryan, who's in many of these videos who talks about the Leap V2 right away using a height adjustable lumbar system that was just a bit too obtrusive. Once he took it out, he felt that it was much more comfortable. This next tip is hyper-focused on lumbar support, more specifically the fit and how it functions with your body. Now, there are a lot of chairs that come with just a natural curve in the backrest. This is designed to provide some level of lumbar support, but if it doesn't fit you perfectly, not in the right spot where you need it, then you want to look for something that is more adjustable. And you'll see there are some chairs that have height adjustable lumbar, like on the Leap here it does have a tension adjustment which will increase or decrease the amount of lumbar support that you feel in the backrest. These are things that you'll want to look for just to ensure that it will fit your body the way it needs to. If you're someone who spends a lot of time reclining in your office chair, you'll definitely want to look for something that has an adjustable lumbar support. So in the EMEA here, you can see this has height adjustable lumbar. And it's important because as I get into a midway recline or even a full recline, a lot of times chairs you'll feel that they just don't have as good of support or need a bit of fine tuning. And if you don't have an adjustment here and you just have a single design backrest or a single molded backrest, you won't be able to change it. Armrest comfort is something that's super important when selecting your next office chair, but it's different than fit. We're looking specifically at just the softness of the pad. Now, maybe you like it firm, maybe you like it a little bit softer, but you can see on the EMEA pad, it has nice softness in the middle and it also has nice softness on the edges. 
I like this one because I tend to lean into one side. It feels like it offers good support, doesn't bottom out, but it's also not too firm. Our bonus tip is about headrests. Now, many people think that they need them or just possibly want them, and it's actually one of the most frequently asked questions in the comment section here on our YouTube channel. But what we found is that these headrests, while they can be nice for people that recline, if you're someone who spends most of your time upright tasking, they can not only just not get used, but in some cases, even with like the leap chair, we find that they're just a bit obtrusive, pushing your head forward. Now, if you decide that you need a headrest, you absolutely need to think about what type of headrest you want and will be comfortable for the way that you're gonna be using the chair. The first is a neck roll, which actually fits into your neck and supports your neck and head. The second would be more like what you find in a car where it's going to just kind of bump up against the back of your head. Now, both of these options really aren't great for tasking, but if you're in the recline position, they can offer really nice support. It's really important too that you make sure that the headrest fits you. Now, if you're too tall or too short, this could pose a problem and you'll likely want to find something that's a bit more adjustable. Hopefully this video was helpful. Don't forget to check out our next video, five tips to ensure you're always comfortable in your office chair.